Hi, Arjun. And hello to you. I feel, feel very honored and uh, grateful to be able to meet you like this. Likewise. Um, well, actually, I have a thousand questions, but I'll try to keep it short. Let's start with one. <laughs> <laughs> um, on this planet right now, we are uh, seven uh, billion people. And uh, apparently, uh, as you say, we are all a part of all that is. Yes. But apparently, most of these seven billion people are not uh, consciously aware that they are uh, a part of all that is. Correct. Because most of them believe that there's some God outside, and we are separated from that God, and we're trying to do our best to kind of uh, please that God. So my question is, when, why uh, has all that is decided to create a part of itself with so many souls that do not know that they are all that is? It did not decide that alone, you could say. You decided it together. You decided it together in the non-physical before you chose to incarnate in this physical realm and play this particular game of hide and seek. You understood that. Let's say that the thrill and the grandness of the effects of self-rediscovery would not nearly be as big if everybody just quite randomly, constantly understood they were a part of all that is. So you agreed collectively on a degree of forgetfulness that in your reality manifested in the way you just described. <coughs> now, you understand that resonance as a far wider reach than was earlier understood. In other words, that one person meditating and holding up a high energy frequency affects thousands of others. Are you aware of this? Mm -hmm. You can do research on it. It has been measured scientifically for those more left brain oriented, as you call it. <laughs> <laughs> These delta theta brain waves in that sense resonate ripple through every single one of you and there is an amount of people on your earth even though you would mathematically identify them as the minority on this co-created version as of earth as you are co-creating it right now that group is accelerating for the whole of ascension on every single version of earth ascending while you choose to shift your awareness to that version or one of those versions of Earth, hmm. which is something you choose, whether you're conscious of this or not, every single moment. And you have free will in that. You don't have to go that direction. But there has never been before in your currently understood history, the way you're being taught it exists, there has never been before such a high degree of light and assistance offered to you and so close to you. The veil has never been this thin, you could say, for every single one of you to choose to plug in with that. Just knowing that for yourself can bring some ease around what you perceive with your physical senses, 
because of which your rational mind thinks that is the only thing I can take my cue from because it's in the news. It looks all very bad. But that doesn't actually describe your planet at all, not by far. You know that if you just choose to focus on your everyday life, in a sense, the friends you have, the family, perhaps the partner that you communicate with, if you choose to be in a state of gratitude and joy and happiness throughout that day, just one hour, just five minutes, you could get overwhelmed with the magic, the amount of beauty in your life. You could choose to see unconditional love steering everything. And it is from unconditional love that you have chosen to create a playboard with so much momentum being played out in such an exciting manner as you are playing it right now. And this is just one version of Earth playing it in this way. But the fact that you have subconsciously or consciously, you choose for yourself, decided to observe this particular amount of seeming polarity must tell you therefore if you choose to unconditionally love yourself that it is therefore a good reason wow what an immense amount of creative energy went into this storyline you must like walking on the edge all of you <laughs> you understand oh yes so, you knew, you collectively knew, if you would play it this way, that the power and the intensity of the light eventually pouring in, in that sense, or actually really you all eventually allowing it to flow through you, because it's offered to you every single here and now, 24-7, since you were born, you knew that it would feel so much grander, it would be so much bigger, so much more beautiful. You chose this particular bandwidth of creation. More often used, introduced as a metaphor by our brother from the Sasani, Bashar, yes? The rubber band analogy. Are you familiar with it? No. If you take a rubber band, yes? and you pull it back around your finger. The farther you pull it back into the darkness, when you finally choose to let it go, the faster it will shoot into the light. Mm -hmm. There you have, in one analogy, the one driving engine coming from unconditional love where you have all co-created it to look the way you just described. Oh, thank you. Does that help? Oh, yes. Oh, thank you.